that's what a bored dog looks like. All right, so good news. It restarted. It's been about a half an hour, maybe 40 minutes since I shut her down. She fired right back up. But just for uh, safety's sake, so to speak, uh, once that other battery is done charging up, I'm going to... Something I forgot to do uh, when I put the charger on is disconnect my ground. Uh, make sure you do that. I'm, I'm always bad at I know I know I should do this stuff but just do as I say not as I do if you're gonna hook a charger to your bike disconnect your ground the the lead, ever like that because uh, it can actually you can damage your electrical system whatever I just called triumph and uh, the fuel it's called the fuel what it? I call it the hot starter but uh, the fuel electronic fuel I forget what he called it anyway but basically it's the the cold start sensors kind of like you could think of it like a digital choke and he was i'm gonna to have to get in there and and see exactly what it looks like uh but uh, yeah it's like a, the only thing he came up with was the fuel injector uh but i know it's not the fuel injector but maybe it's it's the thing that plugs into the fuel injector uh, again i got to see it up close to see what i'm looking at and then i'll understand what i'm what i'm talking about but um yeah so yeah, is what it is. I'll see what I can get away with. Uh, bikes, bike, run, like I say, it runs fine. It's just that that cold startup that's the real the mess up. But today it was just kind of one of those ride number thirteen got off to the bad 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 start because it didn't start, and then I killed the battery, and then because uh, well, what happened is I it, it, basically you're you're manually basically starting the bike by getting the right throttle position, and if you go to too quick on it what happens is you flood it right and then once you flood it then you got to wait so what i know now is if i flood the bike i gotta wait i'm gonna wait about five ten minutes before i even attempt to start it again because uh biggest problem is that if you flood the bike and then you go to keep starting it it'll keep flooding it and once you once those plugs are wet you could have might have to wait 20 minutes for them to dry out so that you could try to try a start again now if you flood it really bad you might have to wait 45 minutes to an hour if you start smelling gas then you you've really flooded the bike and you'll kill the battery this battery uh like i literally tried maybe about four times to restart it uh i didn't get very much out of it before it killed, drained the battery enough that it uh shut down the circuit so where like i say with this battery gets low enough on this maybe your bike's different but this battery gets to a certain level it'll go low enough and when it goes that low you got no power whatsoever on the bike i guess it's just a safety mechanism that's built into the bike but that said it did fire up i did go for a ride i boosted it off the big battery here so i think that was out of my van i can't remember where that battery came from but i got it on the trickle charge at two amps it'll take a little while to bring it up but uh, usually about an hour 45 minutes i keep them i keep them circulating all all season and i'll put that on so that for tomorrow i got a fresh battery excuse me uh, a fresh battery to go everything should be good so i think today was just one of those glitch days but i really want to get that starting cold start problem figured out so as you can see the bike when i parked it, it was at 93 degrees celsius okay i started it up it was still that was 40 minutes ago when i when i parked it so i went out for about a 16k run that's about 10 miles and it came back the shortest run i've ever done on this bike but something really bizarre happened to to this bike in this process i've actually lost mileage off the mile the the uh the odometer uh i i don't know how it would reset that but it, it seemed to have i've lost about a thousand kilometers off my mileage <laughs> it, 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 yeah so maybe this bike has more mileage on it than i think have you ever heard of that i uh like i went from well maybe not maybe, maybe i thought i had 34,000 on it uh, 34,000 whatever but now it's only showing 33,000 something i and i know when i bought the bike it, it had 27,270 kilometers on it and uh well, maybe that's right no I'll have to look because uh, I'm like, but it did. I know what it did uh, on my trip meter. I had about because I filled up at the gas station last night, 
and I came back and I had about uh, 0.7 of a kilometer on there, but it did reset the zero on my, uh, unless I hit the reset button accidentally and not realized it. I, I don't know. Uh, may, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just, uh, ride number 13 is freaking me out. Who knows? Uh, but I got ride num number 13 out of the way. Hopefully, <laughs> yeah. again, if it was ride number 130, I wouldn't be freaking out, but, uh, is what it is. I want to get a, at least a season out of this bike before I can't afford to run it anymore. Uh, hopefully five seasons would be great. Uh, but uh, yeah, they are older bikes, so I'll keep you up uh, updated, posted. But it's just the idea that I want when I go someplace and I stop and uh, you know I want to go on some rallies. I want to go here. I want to go there. I want to go to Luskville in the next two weeks, three weeks, whatever. Watch some drag racing. I want to go on all kinds of runs. But I want to make sure when I stop the bike, I can restart it, you know, like on a cold startup. So I got to get that nipped in the bud. But again, on such a tight budget that I'm on these days uh, is what it is. Obviously, if I was starting a new job, uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, YouTube is my job, but uh, it's like, uh, you know, it's not paying so well these days. They're really making it hard for us. But um, yeah, if uh, I, I get a job somewhere, I need something that's also reliable that I know it's going to fire up each time. That's why you need a second bike so you can have one. When one's broke down, you can take the other one. But anyway, it is what it is. So I'm going to charge up the battery. Maybe it's a good tip here is uh, maybe once a month, whether your battery needs it or not, just you know put it on the trickle charger uh, you know overnight or for an hour or so just to make sure your battery's always really fresh so that if you do have starting problems, you got a lot, little extra juice in there. Uh, especially like I said in the previous, in a previous video where, especially if you're doing a lot of starting and stopping city traffic stuff where you never really get up, uh, to enough speed in the, in the city to really get a good charge out of the, the charging system. You need to, on this bike, it, the, the real charging doesn't really kick in until you get uh, up to about 4,500. So, which is not hard to get up to stay at 4,500 in the second gear on this bike. Uh, it's about 50 kilometers an hour right there in second gear um and the thing is is that you're, you're getting about 14 and a half volts coming back uh which is normal so i'm going to test all the charging stuff again make sure everything is still good hopefully there's nothing else uh again it's not really a battery problem today today was i flooded the bike drained the battery but it drained the battery pretty quick <laughs> uh considering um I, I think the battery in it, I knew it, was, it wasn't as strong as I wanted it to be when I bought it, but um, it was all they had on the shelf, so uh, so just uh, extra precautions. Another thing I want to do, and I, I got to uh, attempt to do it, maybe I'll do it tomorrow or the next day, is on a cold start, I want to just roll the bike down the hill and basically bump start it. Problem is, if I can't bump start it and I flood it <laughs> or whatever, uh, it could... Uh, be a bit of a nightmare but uh the, the goal is is basically at least that way if i know i am flooded or whatever i could scooby-doo jump on it and uh pop the clutch and and uh, get the bike going that way i don't have to worry about completely killing the you know uh, the the battery dead enough that it cuts the circuit off where you can't uh you can't uh you know you have no power whatsoever uh, because once you have no power you can't start the bike no matter what right so uh just just it'd be good to know and i'll pass the tip on to you if, if you run into that problem just kind of one of those things so anyway uh i'm gonna leave it at that i'll let that one charge that big battery over there that big beast charge up in case that's my booster battery um hopefully i don't ever need it again but it's a good idea to top it up and then i'll top this one up again it fired up so who knows, maybe I'll get a little bit more life out of that battery. Hopefully, uh, if, I can imagine, because if you kill the battery too many times, it, it eventually it, it doesn't come back up. But it was showing 12.3 uh, volts. Uh, so that that's definitely not dead. If it's showing like 11 and a half or 10, at 10, you know, you, your battery's probably pretty much toast at that. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. So hopefully, hopefully everything works out. Uh, Ride number 14 is the next one. <laughs> I count my rides just to see what kind of mileage I get out of this thing. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get all that done tomorrow. Uh, and, and hopefully we never have to have this discussion again. <laughs> there we go. Have a great day.